नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स थ्री स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिवन नाउ टेक द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट डिवेल्युएशन ऑफ डोमेस्टिक करेंसी डिक्रीजेस द करेंसी रिस्क एसोसिएटेड विद ई सी बीज दैट इज एक्सटर्नल कमर्शियल बोरोइंग्स दिस स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग नाउ सी दिस इज अवर इंडियन इकोनॉमी बुकलेट फॉर आई एस फिल्म ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी टू हियर देर इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ रूपी डिवेल्युएशन हियर इट इज मैंशन दैट इन पार्टिकुलर डिवेल्यूशन ऑफ रूपी इज अ बैड न्यूज़ फॉर इंडियंस हु नीड टू इम्पोर्ट रॉ मटीरियल्स अगेन इट इज मैंशन that the rapid devaluation has also caused a loss of confidence in international and domestic investors with the history of quick depreciation foreign investors will be more nervous of investing in india the devaluation and inflationary impact will also discourage domestic inv- investors this reduction in investment is damaging to a long term economic growth therefore statement third that it decreases the currency risk it is wrong therefore if we remove 3 from the given options we are left with only option a a is the answer and this question is sort next question consider the following statements five statements are given now the first statement is that climate group is an international non profit organization that drives climate action by building large networks and runs them this statement is correct now see this is our current affairs book November 2020 current affairs book page number 113 there was a news delhi government to participate in climate dialogue here it is mentioned that climate group it is a globally renowned non profit organization working on a climate action it also acts as a secretariat to under two coalition a group of more than 200 ambitious state and regional governments committed to keeping global temperature rises to under 2 degree temperature therefore statement 1 is correct statement 5 is wrong that international agency is the sec- secretariat to the under two coalition here it is mentioned that climate group it acts as a secretariat to the under two coalition therefore statement 5 is wrong if we remove 5 from the given options we are left with the only option b b is the answer statement 1 is correct and check this third statement 134 are correct now check the fourth statement that some indian companies are members of ep100 here see this is our december 2020 current affairs book page number 126 there was a news international climate ambition summit 2020 here it is mentioned that godrej india announced commitments to key global initiatives including the business ambition for 1.5 centigrade setting science based targets through the ep100 initiative for energy smart companies so the statements that some indian companies are members of ep100 this statement is correct statement third is also correct that ep100 brings together the leading companies committed to driving innovation on energy efficiency therefore 1 3 4 all these are correct b is the answer and this question is solved next question with reference to polythene the use of which is so widespread in our daily lives consider the following statements four statements are given now take the first statement that its fibers can be branded with a wool and cotton fibers to reinforce their properties this statement is correct this is our october 2021 current affairs book page number 204 here there was a news plastic waste recycling targets plastic packaging here it is mentioned that third category is called the multi layered plastic packaging which has at least one layer of plastic and at least one layer of material other than plastic so therefore the statement one that it can be branded with other material it is correct now one is present in only a and c now check the third statement that bottles made of it can be recycled into other products this statement is also correct now see this is this is our science this is our environment book for ice films 2022 page number 213 there is a list of environmental related laws and here there is a law recycled plastic manufacture and usage rules 
rules are introduced to prohibit the usage of carry bags or containers made of recycled plastic for foodstuffs rules also lay down procedures for the manufacture of virgin and recycled plastic carry bags and recycled plastic con containers so therefore statement third is also correct that bottles made of plastic can be re recycled now one and three is correct four statement is wrong that articles made of it can be easily disposed of this statement is wrong now see this is our environment book page number 48 here it is mentioned that environment air pollutants there are 12 compound in the list of persistent air pollutants dioxins and furans created by combustion of organic like opening burning of plastics therefore the statement fourth is wrong only one and three is correct therefore a is the answer and this question is solved next question with reference to indian history consider the following texts the name of four texts are given which of the above are jain texts now take this fourth one first it is jain text third is not it is buddhist text now see our indian culture book page number 32 here it is mentioned that some important jain text in sanskrit are and here it is mentioned that mahapuran of jain sen and on the page number 27 of the same book indian culture book for ice prince 2022 page number 27 here it is mentioned that book, this writer chamudraya he condensed the jain texts like sanskrit mahapuran of jain sena and gunabhadra in his book called chamudraya puran or tri sasti laksana mahapuran it is asked in the question so therefore this is correct it is a jain text now see the options it is in three options b c d and d now take this third one avdhan shatak actually avdhan is the name given to a type of buddhist literature correlating past lives avdhan so it is a buddhist text now see this is our indian history booklet page number 17 on this chapter buddhism and jainism here it is mentioned the the four truths these are contained in the set that can be found in the pali canon a collection of scriptures in the ther avdhan buddhist text ther avdhan so the word that contains avdhan are the buddhist text avdhan shatak so therefore it is not a jain text so now if you remove three from the given options you are left with the b 2 and 4 therefore b is the answer and this question is solved next question related to indian economy with reference to the indian economy what are the advantages of inflation indexed bonds three statements are given now see this is our indian economy booklet Indian Economy Booklet for Ice Prelims 2022, page number 95. On this page, it was mentioned that government is currently working on a fresh issuance of inflation index bonds, wherein the payment of both the coupon and the principal on the bonds will be linked to an inflation index, that is, wholesale price index. In the proposed structure, the principal will be indexed and the coupon. will be calculated on the indexed capital in order to provide the holders protection against the actual inflation the final wpi will be used for this indexation now see the question statements that inflation index bonds provide protection to the investors from the uncertainty regarding inflation this statement is correct it is mentioned on this page that these inflation index bonds in order to provide the holders protection against the actual inflation these are used 
treatment first is also correct that government can reduce the coupon rates on its borrowing by way of IIBs here it is mentioned that inflation index bounds that in the proposed structure the principal will be indexed and the coupon will be calculated on the index principal now see this third statement that interest it received or as well as the capital gains on the IIBs are not taxable this statement is wrong this is our Indian economy booklet for rice plus 2022 page number 86 these are the tax saving bonds only infrastructure bond capital gains bonds RBI saving bonds or RBI relief bonds these are not taxable but there is no mention of inflation index bonds here so capital gain tax is applied on inflation index bonds so therefore statement third is wrong if we remove three from the given options we are left with one and two one and two is correct therefore a is the answer and this question is solved from our indian economy book next question which one of the following activities constitute real sector in the economy that is a very basic question five activities are given farmers harvesting their crops textile mills converting raw cotton into fabrics commercial bank lending money to a trading company and a corporate body issuing rupee denominated bond overseas now see this is our budget and economic service synopsis for rice plan 2022 on page number 35 this is a table macroeconomic framework statement presented by the government during the budget and this section it constitutes the real sector here it is mentioned the real sector activities these are the real sector activities of economy nowhere here there is a mention about the corporate body or the private corporate business now see this fourth point that a corporate body issuing rupee denominated bonds overseas this activity does not come in this real sector of the economy these are the activities of economy therefore fourth is wrong now if we remove four from the given options we are left with the a one and two farmers harvesting their crops and textile mills converting raw cotton into fabrics that is the production activity so agriculture and the production activity it it is a part of a real sector of the economy therefore a is the answer and this question is solved next question the system of rice intensification of cultivation results in three options are given reduced seed requirement reduced methane production and reduced electricity consumption all three are correct now this rice intensification cultivation it is basically a part of a intensive agriculture now see this is our geography book part 1 for rice film 2022 here on this page 137 there is a topic on bio intensive agriculture intensive farming of all the crops whether rice or any other crop here it is mentioned that it results in decrease expense and energy inputs and here it is mentioned that when properly implemented this bio intensive agriculture technique it results in less water less fertilizer less organic material less energy therefore less energy less input now the reduced it also results in reduced methane production now see this is our environment book for as 2022 on page number 62 and page number 63 here it is mentioned that methane is re released from the rice or paddy fields that are flooded during the sowing and maturing periods when soil is covered with water it becomes anaerobic and lacking in oxygen under such conditions methane producing bacteria organisms decompose organic material to form a methane so therefore when there is more water and the more water is added there is a more methane and in, and in this technique there is less water there is less organic material so so it will result in less methane reduced methane so therefore all three are correct and this question is solved next question with reference to non-fungible tokens consider the following statements three statements are given 
now take this third statement first that non fungible tokens they can be traded or exchanged at equivalency and therefore can be used as a medium of commercial transactions this statement is wrong because as of now it is not allowed in india this is our current affairs book february 2022 current affairs book page number 22 here it is mentioned on this page that union budget has proposed a taxation scheme on virtual digital assets including cryptocurrencies and non fungible tokens however the finance ministry has clarified that taxing these assets does not automatically bring legitimacy therefore as of now it is not allowed so it cannot be traded or exchanged therefore statement third is wrong now if you remove three from the given options you are left with the only one and two now read this second statement that they are the unique cryptographic tokens that exist on a blockchain this statement is also correct and they enable a digital representation of physical assets it is also correct here it is in this news mention it is an asset digital digital asset and in this news november 2021 current affairs book page number 25 there was a news the most traded cryptos in india and in this non fungible tokens are mentioned here it is mentioned that along with hosting the either token the ethereum is also leading innovation by being a foundation for a variety of applications such as decentralized finance and non fungible tokens making making it a great investment so therefore it is clear from this news that they are a unique crypto graphic tokens and they enable a digital representation of physical assets therefore a is the answer and this question is solved next question consider the following pairs reservoirs and their states first one is the ghat ghat prabha telangana it is wrong it is in karnataka see this is our environment book for ice building 2022 page number 121 here it is mentioned ghat prabha it is in karnataka second is gandhi sagar madhya pradesh it is correct now see this is our environment book on page number 126 this is our environment book for ice plants 2022 page number 126 here it is mentioned gandhi sagar in madhya pradesh the first is wrong second is correct now check this third one indra sagar andhra pradesh it is wrong it is in madhya pradesh now this is our june 2020 current affairs book page number 45 here it is mentioned there was a news float over text in this news it is mentioned that last year madhya pradesh said it would build a 1000 megawatt floating solar on its indra sagar reservoir therefore indra sagar is in madhya pradesh therefore it is also wrong now check this fourth one mathan chatisgarh it is also correct it is also wrong now see this is our geography book part 2 for high sprints 2022 page number 112 here it is mentioned the modar valley project in west bengal and bihar this project has series of small dams on the tributaries of river damodar these are the dams telaya konar and maithan so it is in, it lies in the areas of west bengal and bihar not chatisgarh so maithan is wrong indra sagar is wrong and ghat prabha is wrong therefore how many pairs given above which are not correct so three pairs are not correct c is the answer and this question is solved next question climate action tracker which monitors the emission reduction pledges of different countries is a and here the four options are given and the correct answer is a database created by coalition of research organizations now see this is our september 2015 current affairs book page number 145 and 146 there was a news national emission plans week for a climate change here it is mentioned that national plans for limiting greenhouse gas emissions fall short of it of action needed to slow climate change under the un agreement the plans submitted so far to the un by 50 nations represent 70% of world emissions are too weak and on the page number 146 of the same book it is mentioned here that climate action tracker 
produced by four European research organizations assessed 15 major nation strategies for the plan period beyond 2020 and found that seven were inadequate including those of Japan, Australia and Canada. So climate action tracker by the four European research organizations. Therefore, A is the answer and this question is solved. Next question. Consider the following statements. Two statements are given. First, the high clouds primarily reflect solar radiation and cool the surface of the earth. This statement is wrong because high clouds are thin clouds so they are not able to reflect. They allow the other radiation to reach the earth. Therefore, this statement is wrong. Now, the second statement that low clouds they have a high absorption of infrared radiation. This statement is also wrong because they do not absorb the radiation. They send it back to the earth. So now check these statements in our books. This is our geography book part 1 for ice prelims 2022 page number 44. Here we have mentioned the clouds and their features, clouds and their types, high clouds. These are basically uh, very thin clouds, hair like. So that is why they are not able to stop the radiation. And the lower clouds, they are very thick. They are very dense, heavy and dense cloud. They are thicker. So therefore, high clouds are thin. So that is why they are not able to reflect. They allow the radiation to reach the earth. Therefore, this statement is wrong. And the second statement that low clouds, they have a high absorption. They have a high absorption of infrared radiation emanating from Earth's surface. This statement is also wrong. Now see, this is our book. This is our environment book for IS Prelims 2022, page number 59. Here we have given the map, surface radiation. So these clouds, they are not able to absorb it. They are sending it back. Therefore, this statement is also wrong. Both these statements are wrong. Therefore, D is the answer and this question is solved. Next question. With reference to the United Nations Convention on the Law of Sea, consider the following statements. Three statements are given. All three are correct. Now take the first one. That a coastal state has a right to establish the breadth of its territorial sea up to a limit not exceeding 12 nautical miles from the measured from the baseline. This statement is correct. Now see this is our geography book. This is our geography part 1 book, page number 153 for Ice Plains 2022. On this page, it is mentioned that India's territorial waters extend to the sea to a distance of 12 nautical miles from the coast baseline. Therefore, this statement is correct. Not exceeding 12 nautical miles. Now, the second statement that ships of all the states, whether coastal or landlocked, they enjoy the right of innocent passage through the territorial sea. This statement is also correct. This is our September 2020 current affairs book, page number 178. Here it is mentioned that as per international law, the merchant vessels of all nationalities, they have a right of innocent passage to the waters of every country, including the territorial waters. Here it is mentioned. Therefore, statement second is also correct. Now the third statement that the exclusive economic zone shall not extend beyond 200 nautical miles from the baseline from which the breadth of the territorial sea is measured. This statement is also correct. Now this is our January 2020 current affairs book, page number 29. There was a news, Philippines to acquire missile system from India. Here it is mentioned that the new anti-ship system aims to better foreign vessels from encroaching on countries those are nautical mile exclusive economic zone countries 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone so therefore third statement is also correct all three statements are correct this is the answer and this question is solved 